Good morning, Robert Davis with you. Uh, I wanted to share some stuff about SQLite in Delphi and um, a relating tables uh, to a main table. So let's start by opening up the SQLite Expert Personal Edition. Which is free, by the way. And then we'll open our database. SQLite test. And you can see. Uh, here's all the information about the database itself. And then we'll open this up. See what we got. We got a context table, which is the main table. And we'll look at design. And in this contact table, we maintain this contact ID, which has got to be a type integer and a primary key. Now, let's double click on this to look at some more of the detail. No, I'm sorry. Uh, look at the primary key. And you see there's an auto increment field here. You don't need to use that, and I wouldn't because it handles things differently, and you're not. Just don't. <laughs> okay, so look at the data. We have some records in there. But where's their picture? Well, here we go. And you see these are all related by contact side contact ID here in this field and then it has the <clears throat> BMP here so okay let's close this I'm gonna say close all Okay, so we shouldn't get any errors about having the file open, the database open in another program. Okay, let's go to Delphi. We'll look at our photo test project. And let's look at the uh, data module first. Design mode. And... This is how you get there. I'm using Unidac, which is Universal Data Access Components from DevArt. I've used them for years, and I think they're the most Delphi-like and probably the most um, easy to use. Um, but I suppose you could use FireDAC as well. Uh, I'll check that out. Anyway, the first thing you want to drop on the farm is a SQLite unit provider. And you don't have to do anything to the properties here. I don't even know if it has events. No. Okay, and then you want to drop on a unit connection. And uh, you can right click on this, go to connection editor. And you see, all we got to do is select the provider, um, which I'm not going to change the SQL line, and point the point to the database. And you see, we connect here and disconnect. Okay, and then to make this useful, we need. Um, unit table and here's the connections already set in there for you because there's only the one and then the table name is the contacts so there's that let's see we can um think what we got here on the drop down uh, 
see if that'll work for us. And then the table two, which is related, and I'll show you that in a minute how that's done. It puts in your connection for you. Just got to select the table name of photos. And we need this open picture dialog for loading our photos to the record and photo or photos and of course the data sources um, let's do this field under field under get a little separation here and you see we got this contact ID and contact ID this is a uh, one up to every time you put in a new record and then if you put in a photo record the contact ID is automatically updated to the contact table so we can uh, close this close this go to the main and you see we have everything from here up is data source one everything from here down is data source two and how's that done let me show you look at table two which is the related table and you uh, establish its master source which is data source one and then you go here to set <coughs> excuse me, contact ID uh, to contact ID are related that way. So uh, let's run this. I'm testing the trial version of um, Dev uh, Dev Express is. Uh, VCL subscription for Delphi. Okay, yeah, the uh, the index field names work for us. That's so cool. You don't have to have an index built in SQLite. You can just uh, declare index field names, and it sets it right up. Let's see. Does she have more than one picture? No, just the one. Uh, Probably ought to make some uh, some indicator of how many pictures there are per record per in the contact table. But you see, we can. Uh, that's my lovely sister Nancy, my lovely bride. And let's see, does she have more than one? No. Um. Patricia and her sister Lamont. <laughs> she has more than one. And I don't think this guy has here. We'll we'll, uh, we'll do this. Add load. We'll make him a oops, I forgot to to um, go a data module. And this must be connected. Yeah, it is. My apologies. Okay, there we go. Let's see. Let's go back to that guy. Okay, we're going to add a record. Load. Casa boy. Yeah, that did the trick. So we're in the clear. Here's mine. I have multiple pictures. Um, I did this when I was in the hospital for major surgery. I did it on my uh, little um, tablet PC. It's a ten and a half inch 
beautiful detachable keyboard. It's really nice. Um, and really pass the time. Okay, and that's my brother Tim. He just has the one. This is my dear friend Andrea. And there's Andrea and her daughter. They just have the two. This is Isabella, my dear friend from Japan. And there she is in her caving clothes. A spelunker, I think they call them. Uh, and that's it there. Oops, and let's go. This is my great niece, Nancy Joanne. And this is a very cute picture taken by her stepmom, uh, Shaughnessy Ransom. Okay, and then uh, I think that's it. Yeah, and then. Uh, James Everett Van Horn. He just has the one, so we're going to add his real picture. Also, load. There, here he is. There we go. So you see he's got, he's got his two pictures. And my lovely sister, Sharon. Well, um, that's really all there is to it in terms of uh, relating tables. Uh, why would I not just put a photo field in the contacts uh, database or table? Well, this way you can have none to many or none to one to many and uh, not be wasting space because every time you would do that in the contact field every record in the contact field would be reserving space for whatever size photo you establish mine by the way are 264 by 264 it's just an arbitrary number that um, look quite fine on a monitor uh, and not too large so and that's well you can see it's fast so anyway that's all there is to it listen I thank you for being with me and I enjoyed doing this for you and my name again is Robert Davis and if you have any questions or comments please put them down in the comments field below and um uh, Smash that like button if you liked it. Uh, the subscribe button would be very nice. And the bell button, bell icon, uh, click that to ensure that you get any new content announced to you the minute it goes online. So once again, thank you, and I'll see you in the next tutorial.